Today we are bringing you a review of our new Hoover. Uh, we purchased it at the end of November, so we've had some time to use it and now we can bring you our honest review of Dyson V11. We got the version Absolute, um, so it comes with all these attachments. Um, the one that's um, exclusive to the Absolute versions is this one, which is the soft a roller uh, this is great for hardwood floors so if you have any hardwood floors in your home this is the version you should probably get or at least consider getting because it does make it so much easier to hoover hardwood floors and we're going to do a super scientific test to prove it <laughs> very scientific <laughs> <laughs> um, this one here is called mini motorized tool uh, so this is great for um, like upholstery but also cat trees so We'll show you that one too. What are they called? Attachments. There is also two brush attachments. Um, I don't really know what is the actual difference between those. With this one, you can adjust it um, and have it with this harder and uh, closer to your flooring. But most importantly, we use this one for hoovering our cats. So keep watching. This one here is called High Torque Drive. Uh, this is the unique um, attachment um, for Dyson V11 and it's supposed to be the most universal one. So you can use it on hardwood floors and you can use it on carpets too. Um, we um, chose that one because um, this actually uh, connects with the hoover and knows when you're hoovering a hardwood floor as opposed to a carpet and it changes the section to adjust to that so we'll show you this now clever <laughs> So during our research process, we came across this great channel um, that's all about hoovers. And um, there was a comparison uh, made uh, between all of the cordless hoovers and Dyson V11 came at the top uh, out of all of the hoovers. Uh, the only downside in this, this torque drive was the fact that um, some of the hair in the experiments they run um, gets tangled up. Uh, but honestly, we hoovered the house um, probably like every, every every two days or something like that. And uh, the, it's only minor and it's super easy to take off. Uh, you literally just grab it, take off and probably hoover it in any way. Uh, and it just, just sucks it in nicely. Um, other than that, uh, it performed the best out of them all. Uh, whether, whether it was battery power, suction power or uh, the ergonomics and, and the shape and uh, it actually holds really well in your hand. So uh, even though it's quite heavy comparing to, to the rest of the Hoovers, uh, I, I never got tired from hoovering the entire house. Mm -hmm. So it runs They did also well. good, do a really good test on the filtration as well um, to check that the Hoover They've got a smoke machine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I understand some of you are here just to see our cat being hoovered. So uh, we thought, let's put it at the beginning of the video so you get what you came for, okay? Pixie loves being hoovered. We start her off by uh, simply brushing her with the attachment without running the hoover so she can get used to it. And uh, you know, eventually with time, <laughs> we thought, oh, well, let's, let's try it if it works. And then she loves it. Hey, Pixie. Just um, a little side note, uh, it definitely does not replace brushing. Um, you still need to brush your cats, um, but this is a really good finisher after a brushing session. Yes. Um, and it does make the fur like so soft. And it often... It just makes it so yeah. good. It's, uh, it's great at removing that really loose hair at the end of brushing. Uh, so sometimes like you can you can get just your hand uh, slightly wet and run over your cat. Uh, but with, with this, you can just do it with a hoover. No need to, to you know, play with water or anything. And some, some cats don't like water. So we just, we just hoover them. Why not? Get that tail. Look at her, she's loving it. <laughs> Make sure to use the 
um, the lowest setting as well, um, not to scare them. Especially and when I'm you're getting, starting out. Yeah, and I'm getting a little bit worried about like sucking their actual skin. Um, but on the lowest setting, you can even uh, try but it I'm on not. your hand. <laughs> <laughs> but you can try it out on your hand, and it literally just it, it, it doesn't actually suck your skin or anything. Uh, it is very. But Blubber is quite happy with medium as well. Yeah, I've yeah, never tried is. boost. I don't think we no, will. No, no, no. I don't think Mon will let me. No. <laughs> uh, but uh, Blubber is quite okay with medium as well. So this is medium now. <laughs> As you can see, he's loving it. Okay, that's like the softest cut ever. He loves it. Okay, so we're back from our hoovering session, and I just wanted to show you how much we managed to hoover from, from Bluebell. Um, it doesn't look like it's quite a lot, but you have to consider that this is this is after brushing, and um, this is the hair that would normally be loose and just like flying in your house. So I consider this to be actually very good result. Um, and also it was, it, as you saw, Bluebell loves it, so it's actually a nice playtime. <laughs> if you manage to get your cats, get used to it. Um, I understand no other cat will do it, but it's just a bonus if you can. So give it a go. This is our scientific test setup. Um, it is supposed to test if the absolute version that comes with the soft roller um, is worth it. So we'll test this one um, and then the high torque drive on two settings. Uh, this one you can use with the uh, gates open or closed. Uh, we'll test both. Um, this setting is mainly for deep cleaning the carpets, so we're not expecting it to work amazingly, but we'll test it anyway. So what we have on our floor is uh, 30 pieces <laughs> of cat litter. Be in even three they are counted. Lines. I have counted it myself. myself. Um, so as you can see, we're using very chunky cat litter. If you're using a very fine one, more like a sandy one, it will be a lot easier for the hoover to pick up the pieces. Uh, but obviously, this is quite a good one to test the toe attachments. So. Matt is going to get right yes. into it. And I think it's worth mentioning that we're going to run the test on the medium setting. Uh, so the Hoover has three different settings. You've got Eco for the best battery life, medium, uh, which also has the um, the clever system that knows what kind of flooring you're hoovering, uh, and Boost for deep cleaning. Um, we rarely use it, but uh, honestly, it gets everything out of the carpet. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. The first one is uh, the test with the high torque and the gaze closed. Okay, so I did only one pass. Uh, I didn't want to go back and forth because um, that would be cheating. So we've got one, two, three, four, five pieces left. And I think it actually did a better job than I expected. Yeah, um, I thought it would yeah. push everything to the side. <laughs> yeah, so actually, actually I'm quite pleased with that. Now we're going to move on to the next one uh, with high torque and the gates fully open. Let's do it. Hmm. Interesting results. <laughs> so it seems like it did worse than with the gates closed, which is very strange. Um, I think it's because the gates are obviously on the sides. So when you are um, hoovering in real life, in real life situations, uh, then you obviously move the hoover and um, that way it can get into the gates um, a little bit easier. And but I think that's this, interesting, yeah, it left like six pieces. <laughs> and I think this isn't important because we hear about the soft roller anyway. So let's get into the soft roller because I, uh, I think it's not going to leave anything on the floor. That's my, that's my guess. Now the final test with the soft roller. Let's see how it does. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a clear winner. Uh, the soft roller hasn't left a single piece and actually it's done some extra pieces. We've got 39 pieces picked up by the soft roller out of 30. I think uh, there's nothing else I need to say. Pick up the soft roller. This is like 135%, so very <laughs> good <boss>. result. <laughs> 
So as the results of our very scientific tests show, um, if you have any hardwood floors in your house, you should definitely pick up the absolute version because it makes hoovering hardwood floors a dream. Super easy. Very inconvenienced. <laughs> Hey, hey. She's loving the outside. Oh, okay. That means she wants to be better. Hey. Who loves the outside? Who loves the outside? Now we are going to show you the mini motorized tool um, and it's probably my favorite one. It is so powerful and so small at the same time. We are using this on low because it really has some good suction power. <laughs> um, <laughs> All of all <that> suction. <laughs> um, but I have cleaned this cat tree just three or four days ago. Um, but as we all know, we are in spring shedding season which is probably the worst for all cat owners so you can see that already there's loads of fur on this one yeah so what we've done we've emptied the um the bin so it's completely empty and that way we can see how much cat hair we can get out of this <laughs> Small technical issue, uh, but the brother doesn't want to move. The cat tree is occupied. Sorry guys, you're gonna have to wait. He doesn't care. And that way you have a clean cut tree in like two minutes. Let's just see how much fur we've got inside. Um, You're gonna tip it on the floor. Just tip it on the floor. We yeah, can okay. <laughs> there we go. Boom. So that was completely empty when we started. And I think after like three or four days, that's a really good result to, well, oh good my God. result. All of this That's really quite country. scary that that much fur. They leave everywhere. It's obviously not all year round, but we're not gonna lie. This time of the year is actually quite tough. <laughs> so it's good to have a good hoover. Just get yourself a good hoover, guys. That's, that's what's on your cat trees. Ooh, my cat tree is clean. I leave a more head on me. I love clean cat tree. Um, we also did a cat tree review, guys, a few months back. Uh, everything we said totally stands and uh, the cat tree you, you can barely see any wear and tear on it so uh, if you want a good cat tree go check out that video because it's still fantastic check out Kotec Kotec yeah great brand definitely recommend it so overall it took some convincing to get Matt to <laughs> buy this hoover it's a very um, expensive hoover guys and uh, uh, I, I think we have to understand that not everybody can afford it because it's super expensive we we're quite lucky because we picked up on the sale and uh, it you know it helps uh, see if you can get it on sale yeah. um, get on sale another one we looked at um, is called Tinaco pet I believe um, if I can find a link to that one, I will leave it down below. So if you live in States or Canada, you can definitely get this one. It was just very hard for us to find it in the UK. So or super expensive, because you could, you could yeah. get it, but it was yeah. actually more expensive than, than the Dyson. Uh, we don't know why, because it was only yeah. half of the price in the US. Yeah, um, but um, I'm sure you can tell that we love this video. <laughs> uh, it's definitely a good upgrade. I approve upgrade. This, the, 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 the buy now. Uh, yeah. it, was, it was a good purchase and it's very satisfying. a good upgrade from Henry. Yeah. Um, so previously, Henry had to live outside in the cupboard on a balcony, which made it... It's not far, but you know... It's yeah, just, it's just it's effort just to It's just to get it out. Yeah. And then I just hate that he just falls over every time. Yeah, it was just uh, extra effort and we wouldn't yeah. live it as often as we wanted to. Uh, whereas this one, uh, it has an, it comes with a nice docking station we all, which also charges it and holds couple attachments. Um, so it's just nicely put away in the cupboard, um, just in the living room. And, and it doesn't take... And you pick it up whenever yeah. you want. Yeah, so even if you have so, a really small yeah. debris, uh, it's just so easy because you pick it up, boom, hoover it, put it back on the... 
um, docking station and then install them. And also the new battery technology is meant to be super clever and it knows how often you charge it and it adjusts the charging to the way you use it. Uh, yeah. so because of that you probably get um dyson claims that you get like 15 years a lifetime from the battery yeah. which is fantastic and um so we'll see yeah. how that goes but we need <laughs> to keep it on charge um but from one battery you can get like 45 minutes of use yeah on the um, medium setting so, if you go on low you get more than an hour definitely. which is fantastic yeah. um yeah i think that concludes today's video uh to quickly sum up uh, we think it's definitely worth picking up um so uh we hope you enjoyed today and uh, we'll see you in the next video Bye.